Well, David, first of all, let's start with today's game, which we all did remarkably well to get on given the weather, didn't we? Yeah, I think to start with, massive thanks to all the volunteers who came down. Um, pretty horrific conditions and to put themselves on the line and get up there and clear the pitch, it was it was a massive effort by everyone. So massive thank you for that, first and foremost, for me and everyone at the club. Real team effort, wasn't it? But what did you make of the game itself? I thought we were really, really good. <clears throat> a few little things that could have been better, but overall, first half, I thought we were very good. Um, probably should have been a little bit more comfortable at half time, but we came in. The lads have, have tweaked a few little things that we, we talked about at half time, and second half was just absolutely sensational. The amount of times we broke the lines, we got players running off, movements off the ball, running ahead of the ball. It was just, it was frightening to watch. And, you know, 4 0, I think we, we fully deserved the results, and the performance was excellent. Last week you said that you weren't happy with elements of our application in Zaya, particularly uh, during the first half, uh, Colin. To what extent do you think that you got a reaction today? Massive reaction. And, and I don't expect any less from that group. It's a, it's a group of not just fantastic players, but brilliant people as well. And look, last, last week's performance in the first half hurt us, hurt all of us. And I think today we've shown what we're capable of and you know, it, was a, it was a top class performance by everyone. Do you think that the conditions still played a part in the game, particularly in that first half where it was almost relentless snow, wasn't it? Potentially. I mean, look, it's always difficult. It, it's, it makes it a little bit more slippy, the surface, um, a little bit difficult, more difficult to control the ball. But in some ways, I think that suits us in terms of trying to play quick football, quick combination play. So look, the lads dealt with the conditions, absolutely no complaints about the conditions whatsoever. They, they, were, they were top notch. Slender lead, obviously, at the interval. Um, to what extent do you think that that accurately reflected the balance of play at that time? I thought we could have been, you know, at least had a second one. Um, I thought we controlled and dominated the first half. We played at that half for pretty much long spells. Um, the majority of the game was played in their half. We were just waiting for the opening. Maybe the final ball wasn't quite good enough. I think that was the main difference between the first and the second half. But look, you know, Ramsey, Ramsey had a good side there. They were fighting for their lives and they were really well organised first half and I think second half we just broke them down a little bit more efficiently. To what extent do you think that the timing of James Berry's goal was as important as the strike itself? We've talked about this before, haven't yeah. we? We've said like sort of it's not just <laughs> goals that change games, the time of the goals that look to, to come off and, and score so early in second half. I think it was a really, really important one for us and you know we, we got a little bit fortunate in, in terms of the way it came about but the way he took the goal was really good and, and I've just about got over the line at the end but um, really good really good goal really important time great for him to score on his birthday too yeah happy birthday <laughs> um, two further strikes followed the course but to what extent do you think that we set a benchmark with our performance in that second period it was everything that we've talked about around we've had some obviously since we came in some really good performances some not so good ones um, the key for me is, is trying to get that consistency and I think today we showed it pretty much for the full 90 minutes. Would you say that in terms of a half of football, that was your best since joining the club? I think so, yeah, I think so. Um, they, they just looked like they were playing with freedom and a smile on the face and excited people get the supporters off the seat and that, that's what we all want to see. Which brings us to you, the decision which yourself and Tim have made to step down for your roles. Tell us a little bit about your rationale behind that. So it, it's been an unbelievable experience for both of us. Um, obviously, the daytime training is something that's new to me. Tim hasn't done it for a while since he was a, a pro clubs. Where commitments of and a work opportunity has come, um, at that alongside some of the other challenges that we've been facing, it's just meant that it's probably the right time now to, to step down and hand the, the, the sort of the ship over to somebody else to steer. Um, I've absolutely loved the last, few, last five, six weeks um, it's an unbelievable football club. I want to thank people, everyone involved at the club, Rob, Robbie, for the opportunity they've given me, um, for everyone in the office, all the volunteers, and most importantly, the supporters and the players. Um, it's been a truly remarkable experience and one I'll never forget. I'll certainly be back to watch a few games and hopefully cheer us on to, to promotion. Thanks very much, Dave. Thank you. Thank you.